Hello everyone, so we are going to compare the performance of Zion with the performance of Elementor. Uh, here I have two uh, brand new WordPress installations uh, and for now they only have the very basics plugin installed. So in this one I have Zion Builder, the free version only is activated and on this one I have Elementor with only the free version activated for NOR. So let's get right into it and let's start uh, doing the comparison to see which one is the lightest. Of course, we already know the answer to the question, but let's see what's the difference. That's really what we are more interested about. How much faster is Zion compared with Elementor? Let's open incognito mode. Let's refresh. So it loads only two resources, but it's because of the team we are using Hello Elementor. So the Elementor plugin itself is not loading any uh, resource at all on this website right now, which is good because we don't have anything yet created with Elementor. So that's really what we want to see that no resources comes from, uh, from Elementor. Let's uh, do the same with Zion. So for Zion, uh, yeah, it's loading about three kilobytes of resources, even on a page that has nothing at all related to Zion. So interestingly enough, Elementor uh, wins for this, but of course, uh, three kilobytes is very, very, very little, uh, and things should start changing quite a bit when we will add a bit of content. So let's go in the page, the only page, and let's add a, a, a very, very uh, simple piece of content. So let's just add a heading and that's all. And then let's uh, do the same for the Zion page. Let's simply add a heading. And then that should be all. So let's go in elements. Let's go in adding text, adding. All right, so let's save. Perfect, so now, okay. So now with a single uh, heading element that's made with the Zion Builder, we are still loading three kilobytes in total. So in fact, we can see the total that was added. 20, a, a 22 byte file was added there, and then a 46 byte uh, CSS file was generated. Well, that's very good to see. It, it means that it's really adding only what it needs. In fact, this uh, JavaScript file is so small that there is probably nothing in it. Okay, so we are still at three kilobytes after having a page with Zion free and a uh, simple adding element. Now let's refresh uh, the Elementor uh, page and let's have a look. So on the Elementor page now with Elementor free only and just a adding element added, we have 15 requests uh, and 124 kilobytes. So yeah, quite 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 a bit uh, heavy. Uh, and we load all of this. We might be loading more. Maybe the swiper library is loading. Yeah, so to filter by only what Elementor is loading is difficult uh, because there are some other names. But for the most part, when we write Elementor, it's it's just about that much uh, plus uh, uh, plus the Swiper library. Let's look if the Swiper library is loaded. No, which is what we want. Like we don't have any slider. We don't need the Swiper library. So that's what we want. Uh, but of course, Elementor added recently a, uh, some optimization options. So I think it would be fair to enable them for, for the rest of this, uh, 
uh, of the of this video. So optimize DOM output. Well, let's just enable this and then improve. So this is what should disable uh, Swiper. But oftentimes in an actual website, you cannot enable this because it, it can break. Uh, yet some swipers, a few things. That, that's why like it's not even beta, it's, it's in alpha. It's been in alpha for at least two or three months now. But yeah, hopefully they will get on with it and, and, and make this a really uh, reliable feature soon enough. And then accessibility improvement uh, should not change much regarding the performance. Let's enable it anyway. And these are not related to performance. So let's save the changes. Let's go back to our uh, Elementor site. Let's refresh. So now in total for everything for this page, we have 21 requests and 160 kilobyte transferred. Whereas uh, this website without any filters. So in total, we have 12 requests and 57 kilobytes. So it's about 100 kilobyte difference and about uh, twice twice as many requests with the uh, the elementor created uh, page and now swiper is not there which is very good to see as of course we don't need it so now we will keep everything the same and the only thing we'll uh, change is activate the pro version of each so let's uh, let me activate it from here. Let's close this and let's activate. All right, so now we have activated for each one of them. Let's refresh. So this is the free version 21 of Elementor, 21 request, 160 kilobyte. With nothing else changed except enabling the pro version. Let's see how it fares now. So 26 requests, so we added five requests and 218 kilobytes, so about 60 more kilobytes. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's 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 quite 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 a bit. Uh, just like there is nothing new on the page, there is nothing from Elementor Pro. It's exactly the same thing we had just before uh, with Elementor Free only activated, but now we have five more requests and 60 more kilobytes required. So it's it's a lot. Let's have a look at uh, Zion. So this is before with just Zion free, 12 requests and 57 kilobytes. Let's refresh. And we have 12 requests and 57.3 kilobytes. So it went from dot one to dot three kilobytes. Uh, I can definitely live with this. Uh, yeah, like dot two kilobytes. So yeah, impressive uh, results, uh, definitely. So that covers uh, this uh, overview of the difference between the performance of Elementor and Zion. And uh, check out my other videos about uh, Zion and uh, how it works and if you should jump on board. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.